How do you do, do folks? Welcome back to Bellabon Bushcraft. Back on regular tracks again. I've had to make a bit of a rush from the car because there's a nice chap but with quite a pack of quite big burly dogs that potentially could be a bit aggressive with breaky boys. So we've rushed ahead. So we're just carrying on our little journeys. How do you do? Bellabon Bushcraft. Today we're heading back to Secret Squirrel, Mark 1. Not been there for a couple of weeks, so we'll see how it's looking. See if there's any jobs needing done. Um, and I'll have some lunch this week and a little bit of a chill. Sundays are all about chill. Today's Palm Sunday, so if you're a Christian, sing Hosanna. Jesus arrives in Jerusalem. Um, hope you have a good day. Otherwise, we shall carry on our journeys. Catch up soon. The wrecky boy, he always looks like he sees something amazing, so we'll see what's around the corner. Brick, what is it? Have you seen something? No, oh, he always does that, and he gives me the heebie-jeebies like he's seen some sinister uh, beast or human. Anyway, catch up soon when we get to Secret Squirrel. Cheers! Break. Just get comfortable for a couple of hours. Steal all the stuff out of the bag. Waterproof. You'll have a nose in here, won't you? See what's, what's in the bag. My trusty Van Gogh, my Van Gogh micro chair. Cheapest chips and does a job. I really don't tend to spend a great deal of money on stuff. I wee bit get it in sales or hunt for a bargain. Charity shops are a good place to look for bits and bobs and things. A lot of good gear at charity shops with top end gear. So, there's enough to be a rich man's dream. There's enough to get the fanciest of stuff to be into your bushcraft and it can be as simple, simple as you like. Mm. That's what I like. It should be accessible for everybody. Occasionally at Christmas time, birthdays, you can get maybe a nice wee gift token and you can splash out with something you really want. But it's bit by bit. Oh. And I 
I just need to splash the cash too. So I've got a lot of gear. It does the job nicely. Got a nice Wrangler Micro chair. Job done. Now to get on. See what I'm up here for. I'll check in soon, me good pals. Before I can eat, little Prince Breck needs to get his goodies first. He absolutely loves these duck things. You get them in Aldi. Absolutely loves them. They spoil rotten. But that's his little bowl of ducking in water. So, Breck, go, go, duck in. That's your lunch. Go and look after the spoiled braticus before I can have anything. So, he's happy. That's the main thing I can now get on with cooking something for my good self. Here's lunch. Breck is sniffing about because he was once more. We've got him on the diet. We think he's put on a couple of extra pounds, don't we? So here we have it. The good old Idahoan perfect mash buttery instant mashed potatoes. Good old meat balls and gravy from Aldi's and Lidl's. Yeah, it's fine to take if you don't have far to carry. He wouldn't want this on a camping trip. I love my new little attachment for the train gear. I saw, I've seen them before but never bought one but then I've seen other folks using them on other channels and ideal for just a very light quick stove. So get that on in a second and uh, pots and pans are all ready. So that'll be my lunch. Simple dimple, the way I like it. Simpler the better. See if I can light this first. Mm. You never know, we have meths burner, do you? I'm going to take this off, try and get it going. I think that's it. Yep, I can feel the heat. Get this on, and we shall start the cooking. Okay, catch you soon. How easy peasy is this? Tiny, portable. I did bring the wind thingy, but I don't need it. As you can see, it's in a little sort of fire pit area here so it's no wind today so i'll get cooking soon hopefully a few minutes and the water will be boiling add the tatties heat up the meatballs and we're all good there we are here we go mashed potatoes are already easy peasy lemon squeezy just add them to the hot water the boiling water and they mash up almost instantly there's the meatballs slowly simmering away, so that'll be heated up in a couple of minutes. And basic, but nice little meal when you're out and about. It's incredible how when you're outside doing stuff, those simple basic things can taste quite nice. So that's what I'm doing. Breck is just sniffing about as usual. He's had all his food. I'll have mine's. Chill out, have a coffee, and I'll head back home. But lunch shall be served very soon. Mm, this is a nice part of a little wild camp. The chill out. Breck settled down. He likes it here. So looking over his his domain. Today we've got a lot of light aircraft buzzing about. Um, it's the first time I've noticed how much interference it can cause to a video. I'm going to have to try and edit some that you'll probably hear later when I put it all together. So I might have to just do a voiceover, so that'll be a new feature. But you'll hear them buzzing about up in the sky. And obviously there's the Schoon Aerodrome not far away, so maybe a lot of amateur pilots like to tootle about on a Sunday. I think they've got an air show next week, so maybe they're all practicing for that. So as long as they're having fun, that's fine. We're chilled out. Start to get a bit of food on soon. And see what's what. But otherwise, we're just chilling out, aren't we? Ricky boy, Rick. Uh, say hello. Say hello to all your fans. Alrighty. Get some food on. Breck, we find this. Let's see how good Breck is finding this in the forest. Right, Breck, sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. Okay, no peeking. We'll hide it behind the shelter here, which is all looking rather lovely. 
That's a good boy. You just wait there. Sit. Sit. Wait. Good boy. Right, I have to find somewhere. You stay there. What about behind the tree? There. Okay. Come to find it. Right, Brick. Come on. Do your thing. Oh dear, that was a bit too easy. That was too easy, but you get the gist of it. That keeps them entertained. Right, we're going to head home. And then uh, see what's what. Okay, Brecky, let's go. Right. You join us in a wee detour of a really steep bank where I have come across another stealth site, not mine's, someone else's. So, just up in here. God, it's easy for break, isn't it? You can tell by my heart rate that it's bloody steep. Just, just up here. We'll see if it's still here. If it's been used. My goodness. But with you in a second. Right. We just climbed up. That bloody steep bank. And then this little flattish part. It's a little campsite. And I have found it in my wanderings, but. No, oh, left it alone. Let's see if somebody else comes here, so there's plenty of space for us all. Little platform here. No idea. Maybe just use this as a uses it as a bench. Bit of a wound stump for splitting wood. Well, you certainly got plenty of good tinder. Tinder fungus. I'm gonna do a video on that soon. Uh, I've got a bit at home because apparently, well not apparently, it is a really good uh, source for tinder and it's sort of long slow burning so that'll be a video coming up. Got a good stash of wood here. There you are and there he is. He's got his wee saw. I added the, the wee lanyard bit on so whoever has a site will know somebody's been but respects it. So it's a lovely wee sight. I can see myself with a, a hammock here. Who knows? I need a ton. Uh, just nosing about. He's got his wee supplies here of water. What's in the egg box? Let's have a look. It's uh, a plastic bag. Got some water. I'm not so sure about this thing. A plastic bag in the tree. I don't know why he, she, they, them have done this. Not a clue. But I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's not causing any harm, is it? Oof. Right, so this shows you there's many of us out here doing our own little stealthy things. Happy, not bothering anyone, doing stuff that's really good for her. And mental health and well-being and commu communing with nature. Hey Brick, we leave whoever has a sight to enjoy it. See you later. Nearly at journey's end and I just wanted to show you these two twin trees. To me I call them the, the gateway into wilderland because I always feel when I walk past these two, they're like, after I'm past them, heading into the wilds that away. I feel I've left the cosy civilised world and we're going into a wilder place. It's almost like a gateway to another world. But that's not being overly poetic. Uh, so, let us walk through the gates of Wilderland. And down there's a car. 
and journey's end for today. So we had a great day with Brecky Boy and me. Yeah, I get some maggle mush to finish off today. And another good day, just chilled out. Had a nice lunch. And had some good fun on a Sunday afternoon. We'll get all this edited and up on the channel soon. Like and subscribe if you can and spread the word of Burlburn Bushcraft. Thanks a lot folks. <laughs>